what do you do when your website is so slow that it actually kills your business? This is the topic of today, right after this. I've been analyzing websites and fixing their speed for years through the Kiwi method. And let me tell you something. The number one problem I see with websites is the pictures are too big. The pictures are too big problem is not something that should exist anymore in these days, right? But it does and you need to know a few things in order to fix it. The first thing you need to know is to find out if your site includes pictures that are too big. Yes, there is a guideline like the pictures should be lower than 300 kilobytes. But that guideline is hard to understand if you don't know how to measure the sizes of your pictures on your site. There is a free online tool called tools.pinkdom.com. If you go there and you measure your site from an area that is near where you're hosted, then you will find out what are the file sizes of pictures on your site. Simply filter through the size of the file and sort it through the biggest first and you will see the biggest pictures in the beginning of the report that it gives you. You can also see that your website on the overall weights a bit more than two megabytes. That's bad for you. You should strive for something around one mega and below. Any website that has more than two megabytes in size on the overall is looking for trouble with mobile traffic. It will just be a risk where if the 3G or 4G network is not fast enough, your, your site will load very slowly. And no one is going to wait for your site to load. These days, people expect your site to load in three seconds and below. A website that loads very fast, like even within one second, will get better traffic from Google. So it's a search engine optimization criteria and you should be mindful for that. What do you do when you find out that your pictures are too big? There are two free tools that you can use. The first tool is pickresize.com. If you go to pickresize.com with the problematic picture and you upload it into it, you can actually resize it to the right size. How do you know the right size? What me and my team use is right click on the picture and inspect it. When you are in your website and you right click on a picture and inspect it, it's a feature that exists on all of the browsers, you will be able to see the computed size. That's the actual size that you need. So you can go there and resize your picture in pickresize.com and instead of choosing like 75% less, just go into custom and choose the actual pixel size that you need. Then download the picture and we're not done yet. Take that picture and upload it into tinypng.com. This will create a picture that is more optimized for the web without changing the quality of your picture. This process is free and so easy to do. You can actually do that by yourself. If you have a virtual assistant or a team, they can do it for you one by one. This is the type of service that we give to our coaching clients when we're talking about the Kiwi method. We make sure that they don't have only amazing advices on the coaching level. We want to make sure that people are getting the full service of graphic designs, of website fixes, and of really fast websites. If you want to learn more about the Kiwi method, in the description below there will be a link about that. In the meantime, I hope you test your website for speed and I hope you have an amazing business. Enjoy the rest of the day. I insist. See you in the next video.